Well, tonight, a Shelby County family who's been searching for their missing loved one just got the news that they were praying would never come. This is a story that we brought you as breaking news at 5 o'clock tonight when we learned the identity of a man who was found in the Big Blue River. Our Kevin Reader tonight is in Shelbyville with the questions continuing to surround what happened to this husband as well as father. Kevin. It was not the news that everyone in Shelbyville had wanted to hear, but the coroner here in Shelby County has identified that body found in the Big Blue River to be that of 38-year-old Chris Young. I just wish whoever has him would tell us where he's at. Well, Mandy Young now has her answer. Her 38-year-old husband was found by kayakers in the Big Blue River at about 4.14 on December 3rd. He was found about four miles west of Shelbyville. The cause of his death, according to Shelby County Sheriff's Department, is pending. I know they said he got into it with some guys that he thought had our dogs because they had dogs in the house barking and they sounded like ours. Eyewitness News learned a scuffle of some kind ensued and Young suffered a bloody wound to his head but continued on his search for lost dogs on November 7th and then was reported missing, as we told you, until his body was found December 3rd. We just appreciate everybody coming out and all the prayers to bring Chris home. Residents held a vigil in hopes that someone would find out what happened to Young. We just want Chris home to be with us. We miss him. The key phrase in the press release given out by the Shelby County Sheriff's Department was cause of death pending. That, no doubt, is where the investigation is now going. What was his cause of death? How did he end up in the Big Blue River when he was just looking for dogs? And what about that altercation that he had had earlier in the night? All this, no doubt, will play some kind of a role in the ongoing investigation here in Shelby County as to what happened to Chris Young. In Shelbyville, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Kevin.